All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. Today is the day that we are going to be looking at uh, Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition at uh, TGS. So I'm not watching this live. I'm actually watching uh, this clip that I saw on YouTube because the presentation was only 15 minutes long. And quite frankly, I wasn't really expecting too much information to be revealed here because it's only 15 minutes. It's been like a week and a half since it was even announced and we still have a two-month release window. So I'm trying to lower my expectations a bit even though during the announcement i was all like that day ah! yeah so i'm gonna stop talking now so we can just get this started first up is ray tracing oh god they're going over the ray tracing again ray tra how much better the reflections of the player and the background look in puddles on the floor the puddles uh, another good example is when you the see the puddles. player's reflection in a window you can really see that the light's reflection is being uh, calculated properly you know what's funny um during the during the release trailer i was looking back on it uh, after I watched the entirety of the PlayStation 5 trailer, and I was thinking to myself, like, now that I was actually looking at it and looking at stuff, I was like, these shot choices are really weird, like, like the puddle and the mirror, and I didn't really comprehend that they didn't have that in the original game, and I feel like a part of that is also because, like, there's so much going on the screen at once that you don't really notice those little changes, so... It's really nice that when you like stop and pay attention to the detail, like you're gonna be able to see that now. But that's not something I was like foaming at the mouth for, you know. Like I didn't see Nero <laughs> in uh, the reflection in the trailer and be like, "Holy shit, you can see his reflection now!" Like that's not not really a huge so, you know, priority now, for me we've personally. Done a pretty good I also you're love see that on some how um, and they have a little like uh, that show how disclaimer at the bottom where the it's, you can literally only have yeah, ray tracing hard at work on or. All of this. Turbo and Legendary Dark Next Knight gen mode. Like, you can't have do both. a lot more than just ray tracing, though. Uh, so we wanted to utilize Yo, all of their capabilities. I can't wait for the PC version of this to come out. So another thing we've added is high frame rate mode. If you activate high frame rate mode, yeah, there's the introducing FPS, a monitor right? that supports 120 hertz, yep. it'll let you play the game at a blistering 120 frames per second. I've never played a, anything above 60. On top of that, also have 3D audio. So, so if you're playing with headphones, I am interested in seeing uh, you'll what be able to like. new dual sense controller features aren't we yeah oh, i heard that they were talking about the like dual sense haptic controllers. feedback like when so you for um, example, hit uh, Nero's, Nero's rev Wu rose and oh, there Dante's we go. ebony and so you can actually feel the shot and, now um other might be some others also have haptic feedback effects so definitely try assigning those if you, so, uh, the dual sense controls also have something uh, called adaptive triggers. The triggers themselves can yeah, there, provide feedback Matt to the player. The can you tell us a little bit more about that? Oh. Uh, um, well, <laughs> they definitely are a new sort of feeling. I think they have some resistance up. to them. Right, like you're opening up the throttle on a motorbike, you know, vroom vroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that. Yeah, ray tracing uh, is inactive during turbo mode. They have to really so specify thought, the know, fact that not? ray tracing in special is inactive during turbo mode. Dude, friggin... Turbo mode you play the game at ah! 0.2x speed. I... <sighs> nice. I... Can, can, someone un can someone explain to me how activating turbo mode is too much for the current consoles and too much for... A PlayStation 5 with the ray tracing like I don't I don't understand that that's something that I don't understand and I've been meaning to like ask like a in, like discussion forums and I forget about it I don't understand why not having turbo mode sorry I don't understand why having turbo mode takes up so much when the game is performing what is it 20% faster like, I started using Turbo Mode a lot more often in DMC3, because uh, I never really used Turbo Mode, but I'm I'm starting to get used to it now. I'm currently doing my Dante Must Die playthrough on the Switch in Turbo Mode, and I I, I don't really want to go back now because it, it feels amazing. Like, I know what I've missed out on for so many years now, but I don't understand why having Turbo Mode takes up so much power like especially on like the ps4 and like even like the ps5 like having ray tracing plus turbo mode just doesn't work like the the graphics like the graphic the graphical update i understand why you would probably need like a higher powered console for it but 
the, the the speed of the game is something that I don't understand. So if anyone has any knowledge about that and would like to let me know down in the comments, I would I'd love to hear it. Ray tracing is inactive during legendary dark, dark night mode. mode. See, like, awesome and again, this is already information that we already know, and they're just going through it again. So four had but this mode as well. I. But the step up in I understand. This I understand. Is quite impressive. So I understand why ray tracing and legendary dark knight mode like wouldn't work so yeah, well together. Like fancy hardware and a couple of extra that modes. I understand. I just don't understand turbo mode. But that's it for popular demand. We've added Virgil, Virgil. <laughs> where you can have him as a playable character. So we're going to introduce that now. I'm gonna introduce Virgil now. We've had like three games. Now we're gonna introduce Virgil. Oh, they're showing off more fucking ray tracing! We've seen this shit already, guys! Look at those puddles! Those puddles look so good! Look at those puddles! Amanda, come here and look at these puddles! They look so good! I remember when Spider-Man PS4 came out and people were flipping so the fuck out because in the E3 demo they had all of these fucking high definition uh, puddles and in the final game there were no puddles and everyone was freaking out. It was called Puddlegate. We made a nice video for it. So this is Ooh, that turbo you can see the good. same combo with Wow, <laughs> I love how like delayed the the normal version is so compared to the turbo. A controller in each hand. Jesus. Right? No, no. So, like, we recorded it once, then we turned on turbo mode, and then we uh, did it again. So oh, my God. And simple. Yeah, and like, see, this looks a lot so, okay, better than just showing off turbo mode really as it is. Obvious. You can see the difference in the distance that they're traveling in the same amount of time. Doesn't it feel oh my God. weird, though? Like, once you've played with turbo mode on, it's really hard to go back. Going back to I'm not gonna lie, going back pretty easy. to yeah, it feels regular really DMC3 slow. after using turbo mode even just for like a day just felt Dude, really weird and I just slow? immediately switched it back. Yeah, once wow. Oh shit. <laughs> Look at all of those enemies. <laughs> I, I rarely play on Legendary fun? Dark Knight mode in 4 yep. Special Edition. And I really yeah, only did it as Virgil because, because uh, on mission one first. Nero and Dante get so like overwhelmed, like at least for like myself. Too, right? Yeah, that is his super Holy character form. Shit. If you want to just play around with the legendary Dark Knight mode, uh, using a super character is the perfect difficulty level. Wow. If you want a bit more difficulty, you can use a normal character. Um, nah, I use the normal wanna, character always. And then if you want to like make life really difficult for yourself, you can play without no power ups and so on. <laughs> new ga new game legendary dark knight mode. Jesus Christ, so, I don't want to imagine. Uh, super characters makes your attack radius a lot wider when you're using super characters and a devil trigger. Yeah, Devil Trigger does make things a lot easier. I've only played with super characters maybe once, but I really like like the visual aesthetic of Nero's wings on him in the super costume. It looks really nice. Do play well enough in this. The style gauge fills up really quickly, right? Yeah, it's a great way to collect orbs um, and a good way to get red orbs. The next gen consoles really pack a punch too, oh, holy so we able to get a lot more enemies on the screen than I expected. You know, I doubt it was oh yeah, Nero's gonna have a really hard time charging shit up and just getting hit by everything. Image quality like this before. On the current gen systems, is this right the is this also on Turbo? I think it might the be. Number of enemies. Yeah, and I'm not surprised. The graphics are amazing, even for those systems, after all. Great, shall we move on? Next up is... I'm wondering what the green orb drop is going to be on right, Legendary go. Dark Knight. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Yo, this is like... Dude, look at all yeah, I was about to say, switch to Cavalier, my friend. This is literally easy money. Right now. Probably about 50 this is literally easy money for Cavalier. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Insane over here. Oh, wow, oh my that was, that was fucking god. Yeah, you went straight to Triple S while using a super character in <laughs> Cavalier. So, uh, you know, last time I played this fight, 
I kind of think there was like maybe ten of these guys. Yeah, most. it's actually this is actually really nice. Like it's it's cool to watch. It really is. Like I. I probably yeah, will also do a legendary Dark Knight effect. playthrough because this just looks fucking nuts. As well, so it's I also really better. like. I think it's better for Dante and Nero now because speaking, they have uh, a wider range of moves too, that makes do a whole bunch of like wide damage. Like they can actually handle it now with the kit that they're given. That is Dex Gen power for you, right? Started already. Matt's like, okay, you have ten. Oh, okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, you show ten seconds of this. With ten you seconds of Virgil. Counting down the amount of time you have. This is just everybody being super excited. Go show more. Be more flashy. Do all the crazy right. things. Two. What done. the fuck? And we're over. Okay, what? Why would you only show 15 seconds of Virgil? Why? I have to go back. Are you kidding? And that's almost the end of the fucking video, too. All right. All right, we're going to break. <laughs> we're going to. We're going to break down this 10 fucking seconds because I said I wanted to break it down. So we're going to fucking break it down here. All right, let's put it at, tw let's put it at 25, 25 speed because I can. <laughs> I wanted to break down Virgil gameplay, goddammit. Whatever. This next gen power for you. And they get 15 fucking seconds of just regular ass Virgil. All right, I'm going to mute that actually because that's probably unpleasant. All right, so that was... I have no idea what that was. Obviously, that's Judgment Cut, the Spiral Swords. Yeah, blist blistering. Yo, look at that dodge roll. That dodge roll looked good. And... I think that's another... That's a new ability. I was about to say, like, it looked like... That kind of looked like Concentration, but... This isn't the Storm Swords that we saw in the trailer, I think. Or at the very least, they're also not the Storm Swords that are in the uh, in the boss fight. Or maybe that, or maybe it is, and I'm just being silly. I think that's Combo C that he's doing right now. Yeah. Yeah, combo C. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it at like fifty. Oh so I mean I think it was kinda obvious that he was gonna be getting um Shit, sorry. I think it was kinda obvious that he was gonna be getting like perfect judgment cuts again. And then this is the new move. So takes the sword out. And it has that slow motion effect too. That's Oh, he did the anime thing, too, where he puts the sheath away and then everything just explodes. So, I I mean, my guess is that if they just took his button and move list from 4SE to here in the boss fight and then just put the boss fight into there, he, does, he didn't have any back-to-forward moments, or any back-to-forward motions except for, I think it was the... The, the storm swords so that's probably back forward melee is probably what it is and then that's obviously judgment cut end so it's it's neat that he can do it without devil trigger now but i'm wondering that probably means that when he's not in devil trigger he will actually get hit out of it this time because i remember in 4se you could take so much punishment with it Obviously, probably still using max concentration, maybe, or it'll actually cost Devil Trigger Bar to use it. Who knows? Okay, so obviously, they, <laughs> Jesus Christ, they, they, they basically just showed everything that we already knew about. <laughs> I understand that there's like a two month release window and again I'm trying to keep my expectations as low as possible because I don't want to be disappointed because my expectations are like through the roof or anything but but dear god man like they they basically gave us 15 seconds of Virgil gameplay confirmed just very minute things 
and then that was it. You gotta you gotta think that like they're probably doing this for people who d don't already have the game, or they're trying to. They played it like once casually, and that was it. And they see this releasing again, and they're like, "Oh, why should I buy this game again?" Well, here's why: because maybe they wouldn't understand all of that information. They gotta cater to the casuals because at the end of the day, like they are also trying to sell copies. So they they need to basically convince people who already played the game like once and then dropped it to pick it up again for forty dollars and buy it again. So obviously, people who follow this thing like it's a cult like myself know all of this information already and i'm sure most of the people watching this already know the information already as well but um that little bit of gameplay footage for virgil was pretty nice and i'm i'm sure that we're gonna see more but what i'm trying to do is manage my expectations to where i'm not trying to think about all of the things that i want for special edition but rather all of the things that I know are coming to Special Edition. Because if I were to sit here and tell you that we're getting, like, Ladies' Night DLC, that, or, like, if I sit here and tell you that, like, I want Ladies' Night DLC, or instead of fighting Virgil twice, I'm going to fight Dante once and then Nero a second time, um, or Virgil's going to get his own campaign, like, they haven't shown any of that to us, and when 4 Special Edition came out, that's what... I and a lot of people thought we were going to get and it just didn't happen and because that didn't happen we were all disappointed for the most part at least like I kind of was and I know some people in the community were as well that's not to say that if you really enjoy this and you enjoy everything that they're putting out that's not really a knock to anyone else I'm just trying to lower my expectations personally so that I don't get too overhyped and get disappointed at the end of the day so that's it for today. I it wasn't really a lot, but I'm sure that they're going to be showing more over the next couple of months. I feel like Tokyo Game Show was probably like one of the last big announcements, announcement convention things before the game actually releases in November. So they'll probably just release stuff on their YouTube channel or on Twitter. So um, once new information comes out, I will cover that and we can have more discussions about that and i would like to know what you guys think in the comments down below too what are your thoughts on special edition uh what did you think of this presentation and even though we're trying to keep our expectations low what sort of things would you realistically want to see from five special edition so thank you guys again for watching as always my name has been antonio redgrave and i'll see you guys next time